<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. What is up? Making this for Abby and all them. No, I wasn't trolling last night about hijacked. It was about a stream that me and uh, Noodles were talking about doing called hijacked. But I do make t-shirts happen. As you can see, there's my print and press. I got a cameo over there. And let's start this show out. All right. So I made this today. Making boy great again, 2020. Hijacked by Street Life and Noodles 180. See? That's what we were talking about last night. I'm doing this stuff. Abby. And I made this for you today, Abby. Just for you. An official Lulu Lemon Liquor. Woo! Yeah? I just love that name. I know you don't go by it. And I know you don't like it, but I wanted to make it. Let's see. I made. Boy, where today? Make boy great again. Boy, twenty twenty. And this is another one I made today. Hijacked. Twenty twenty. And I made this one. Hi, Jack. 2020. So, I do make shirts. Oh, you like it? I'll send it to you. I try. If you guys got any ideas, I'll make it up. I mean, I was going to make the Melton John shirt, if you remember, Abby. I didn't want to write it in the chat, but you told me after a couple days, I, I think you got mad at him. And you said, don't make it. So, I didn't. I've made uh, my Alcatraz shirt sure. from my chat. Cell block D. Oh, no, I got a bunch of new shirts. I got some bandanas. I got some new vinyl. I got some pink sparkly. I don't know. And I got some black. So I got a few few future projects for that. I got a bunch of couple of new shirts here. I'm trying to do all kinds of different things. <laughs> That's right. I mean, yeah, that's why I, I didn't make the Melton shirt. It wasn't that I didn't want to. I, I thought you didn't want me to because it was like the next day you were like, don't make it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I do try to make shirts. So I'm trying to get it more and more into it. I am married to um, Adventure Baby. Um, what do I got on here? I'm trying to do a two-color Alcatraz. It hasn't been... Working out the greatest, but that's my press. My heat press is back there. But yeah, I, me and me and Noodles, I know we get to you, Abby, and I, I don't mean to get to you. I don't think Noodles means to either. We just we have a weird sense of humor, and when we were saying hijacked, we were just coming up with our own channel. Like we came up with a positive passion, a passion positive for a website. I won't tell you the whole thing because it probably gets you mad, but we found great humor in it. Okay. I am not a troll. I swear I ain't a troll. I love going to your channel. And you know, and I really think me and Noodles could do a great show. 
I, he has a great sense of humor. I mean, and calling it hijacked. I mean, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know how why that Streamlab thing's on. I, I tried to turn it off, Abby. I don't know how to. I'm not that. Oh, is that Carrie? Yes, I think Noodles is funny. I have a funny time with him, and I, I know Abby takes me very wrong, and I don't try to get her mad, I swear. I do agree with that too, Abby, that he does attack you. I swear. I, I would never attack you. When, when I came in and said, because when I, I when what I meant by hijacked your chat was is that we were just the ones in there and you weren't there no more. And it wasn't trying to get you mad or anything. Oh, that's scary. Nice. I had a great chat with you last night. It was funny when we and, and you know, me and <laughs> me and Noodles were giving it to you, I guess. <laughs> we're just it was a great time. Thank you, Abby. I swear I wouldn't attack you. I'm not like that. I, my humor does go wrong though, and I want you to, you know, so try to look at it another way if you think I was trying to troll you in any way, you know, and you'll probably see where the humor was. But sometimes I do go wrong and like and I'll give you an example. My first wife, she goes, come here. And I said, no, I don't go to trash. Trash comes to me. That did not go well. So sometimes my humor gets me. But I will say sorry. I, I swear I'll always say sorry if I offend you. Because I do love going over to your chat. I won't lie. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't see. I don't. I call that the BAM crew. And I want to say it as the BAM crew because that's you guys' world. And I know somebody doesn't like their names mentioned, but if you take each letter, I'm sure you could figure it out. Like, B is for, and then A is for, and M is for, you know, so I call them the BAM crew. So I, I do appreciate, and I'm glad that you have me, and I'm glad you haven't banned me, because I know that my humor goes sometimes too funny. <laughs> That's kind of mean. <laughs> I have a weird sense of humor, though. That is very mean, though. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I like making merch. I like, I come on here to have fun. Ah, yeah, it's probably as good, Abby. Um, I like making merch. I like trying to do anything. And I like coming on, having fun and joking. And sometimes I do know, Abby, and it is your chat. And if I ever do cross a line, just tell me to knock it off and I'll get back to right. And everything. Oh, why was it reopened? I just decided to open it up again. Nobody's really streaming or anymore in my life. So I just decided. And I wanted to make merch. I don't know if you were here for the merch, but I've been I made up a few more shirts. Uh, got the old Sell Alcatraz with the old cell block date. Um, I'm gonna send this to Abby. The official, the official Lulu lemon liquor. I like that one. And high bat hijacked by Street Life and Noodles 180. And then make boy great again. I messed up on the back, though. I'll have to remake it, but it was a good one for a test shirt. Make Boy Great Again 2020. So I did, I've done that, Mike, since you've been gone. Um, make Boy Great Again. And then I just got Boy 2020 on the back. I got Hijacked 2020. And I got Hijacked 2020. I think you'd look good in that one, um, Lulu. 
a little tankini. Just saying. <clears throat> All right. I could, Alex. Oh, I told him I made it. I told him we were going to go big. But I think, you know, it would be a great panel sometime. All four of us. Because we all have a great sense of humor at times, you know. Me, Noodles, Carrie, Abby. I, I think we take a void. I just think we have that kind of sense of humor. Hey, what's up there, Alex? That is true. It could be controversial. I just like making things. I got the new Cameo. I'm trying to learn how to use it. I did the Lulu Lemon Liquor. I did that. That was all in cursive. Boy, that was hot. We do know. Um, but I just like making things. I go. I I do it though too at work. I'm a. Uh, I make most of the Reebok T-shirts. Uh, UFC. Um, what else we do? New Balance. We're doing WWE now. I did uh, Big Daddy, um, the Big Daddy shirt by um, Tamanka Shansa or something like that. Um, I did a Hulk Hogan shirt. I got that somewhere too. Um, I think I got Amanda Nunez UFC shirt that I made. Um, I've got a few shirts. Oh, you know, I think they didn't understand what was going on last night, Gary. I just don't. I think, you know, and you did nothing wrong. I mean, if anybody did anything wrong in that chat, it was me and Noodles by far. We were just having such a great time. <laughs> it was, I had a real great time. Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys can fight that out, but I think you guys would be great on a panel. All great. All thing we call hijack. Because <laughs> we never know where it's going. <laughs> you know, I mean. And I, I, I really don't. Hey, what's up, Bud D? I think. I, I like Hazel too. She's got a great sense of humor too. And I mean, I think you got a great sense of humor, Carrie. And I think Abby's got a great sense of humor. I understand, you know, you guys got your own thing or whatever. I don't get into that stuff. I just like having fun. Oh, and I, I'm not saying you are, or I am. I wouldn't call any one of you. That's none of my business. What you guys done, I don't, you know, I just get on here to have fun and everything. And because my wife works at night and everything. Oh, I think she does. I just, yeah, maybe you guys have crossed lines or I don't know, you know what I mean? And I, I don't really want to take a side because I like her and I like you and I had a great time with you last night and I had a great, I have a great time over at Abby's and, you know, I, I wasn't there and I don't think it had affected me. So, and that's why I never asked for mods or anything because I like to be free and just go around and being able to see everybody. I like going over to Berg's. Yeah, I don't think we were. I mean, yeah, we were having fun. <laughs> I mean, you got to admit that passion positive was pretty funny <laughs> for a website. <laughs> Oh, see, me and my wife are very secure, and we love each other very much, so I can't see it happening. I mean, I'd love to meet all you guys and stuff, you know what I mean? But I, I, I think my wife would probably crack me upside the head with a frying pan if I ever tried to leave her. So I don't see that ever happening. 
I didn't. I, I'm just very happy in my life. I got a great life. So. I don't like coming on here though, because it's my pastime when she's not here. Yeah, and you know, I just do my thing, Gary. I'll never talk bad about you. I'll never talk bad about her. I'll never talk bad about Hazel, because it's just not me. It's, I when this channel started out, it was like that. It, we were kind of talking about somebody in their channel and I had to shut it down for a while because of that. And I think I learned a lesson from that being that, you know, I don't want to talk about people behind their back. You know, if I got something to say, I guess I got to go to them and say it. And okay, that's fine. I'll, get, I'll make your own shirt. Okay. I don't care. It'd be fun. Give me some ideas, you know. I'd like to even make Abby Brooks seven shot. I mean, I mean, yeah, and I mean, but I'll never get involved in it. So you're always safe over here and you'll never get banned. I don't ban nobody. I don't care what you say about me or anything. Yeah. You know, like I said, I don't, really talk to anybody off here except for uh, uh, town and country. So I don't see me, you know, oh, I got a great shirt on tonight. You might like it. It's kind of, kind of funny. Some people just need a pat on the back. <laughs> I made that one too. I like that one. But, I think you're super cool, Gary. No, it's not snowing. It's very nice up here. Oh, I agree. I, mean, yeah, I can tell you this. I'll never be involved in it. You know, that's... I think we're going to have an early winter. No, no, I don't think anybody should control noodles. <laughs> oh, he's great. That's why I made a street live and noodles shirt. <laughs> I, I, I think he's, I find him so much humor in him. And all the accounts he comes in. <laughs> That's what he said. And it's looking that way, like the snow's going. I think we're going to have one snowstorm this week, but the next day it's supposed to rain. So if we do get anything, I think it'll go away. Now, I bet. I mean, it, you know, you just do your thing on here and don't worry about what, you know. If you know, and I know you read the Bible and stuff because we, we talked about that last night. And, uh, you know, if you know you're not doing anything wrong. He is impossible. <laughs> I mean, but nobody can say nothing. You already know who you are. I'm a lot of things, and I'll admit it, but, I mean, I am what I am. That's all that I am. I mean, nobody can take that from you. I think you're a very good person. I had a great time with you last night. It was fun. I think me and Noodles kind of overwhelmed you, but... <laughs> But it was fun. And I, I don't mean anything to disrespect anybody. And I I was born this way. <laughs> Here you go. I, I try to be Terry. I like to be a good nun. I have fun. And I... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Noodles is great. I think he's got the best personality I've met. <laughs> I've got houses. I've got this. <laughs> no, he didn't say it to be funny. I thought it was funny, though. 
But yeah, I mean, I think everybody might take Boyd a little too serious. I just come here and have fun. And I know some people take me very. I'm not anymore. She started a new channel. And I forgot I was a mod over there. And you can ask Terry. I don't really go over there much. My mod. She knows. I am a mod at Berg's. I forgot I even had a wrench over there. I don't even know why I got a wrench over there, Little Red Riding Hood, to tell you the truth. I have no clue why I did. I think it's because she likes my wife. Nope. I will laugh with them, though. I mean, I like to have fun and joke around with everybody. Yeah, Barbie girl. I, I barely go over there. Usually, if, if I go over there, it's because town and country is on a stream or something. Yeah, I would just, you know, just come on, listen, have a great time. Gary, and, you know, don't worry about what people are saying or doing about you. I mean... I did not laugh at you because of your eyes. I can't even see your eyes. Yeah. I just seen a cat. I did have a friend though, and I and I don't know what this is. So it was me there, I, and I'll say this, and I I didn't know how to look at him because he had eyes that moved like this the whole time, and it was weird. But we're still good friends. I was just. It's hard to stare him straight in the face. I try not to. I don't know why. Maybe I do it wrong. Yeah, I do have weird eyes. Got little chinky eyes, I think. So, and I didn't even notice he had them, but. I did notice the guy that had the eyes that that, that I thought was very weird. I do and I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but we're good friends now. I just try not to look him in the eyes. And I might be wrong, and maybe I'm handling it wrong. I don't know. Because I don't want to feel uncomfortable like I'm watching his eyes. I don't know. So little red riding hood, why do you hate me? You just seem to like to come troll me. I mean, I'm not going to boot you, so might as well get it out. Yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> it's funny. But for some reason, you two don't like me. That's all right. I, yeah, I mean, and I don't want to think, I really like the guy. I just don't, it's, I just, I don't know what that disorder is or whatever. I think he's told me, but I just try to treat him normally, but it, I just never, you know, and I mean, I come from way up mean, so I get exposed to new things all the time. Yeah, well, I forgot I even had one there. I, I I don't even think I ever modded there. I had a buddy that had eyes that kind of moved. They were saying that I was picking on it was me because I guess the cat's got cross-eyed or something. I don't know. I can't really tell. He's, I see a cat, but he was saying I was picking on his eyes. And I said, well, I had a buddy that had eyes, but I didn't know how to deal with that. I didn't. That's all I knew about how to answer that one, Terry. I try to answer the questions the best I can get them. So. I do think that, you know, if somebody. Yeah, I don't you. I throw the word hate around. I don't really hate anybody. I try to like everybody. Do you need bifocals? Um, no, I got a little chat box, though. I do. I just had to go get glasses, though, for... I, I, I read close up, all right, you know, reading books and stuff. But I guess when I put my glasses on at 400 feet, 
I can't see a little pink flag. So I don't really wear them. No, Terry is not my life. Adventure Baby is my wife. She's married, and I, th I can't even think of. So, and my wife is at work, and her name is Adventure Baby, and I'm sure if you ever come back, you'll know her. Terry and me mod in a few rooms, like. Well, I used to mod it over at uh, Town and Countries, and I do at Birds, and she does at Birds. And she goes to Abby's, and she's a mod over there, and I'm over there, but I ain't a mod. And I'm not a very good mod. Why does it seem like I strain a lot or something? I don't know. I do have a light right here, though, so maybe that's kind of why. And one of those LED lights. Hey, Susan TX, what's up? Hey, well, Terry and them just got here. I'll show you guys what I did today. So I was at another chat last night, and I had a great time. We were I was with this girl, Carrie, and Noodles. And we were in this girl, Abby's chat. And she left and everything else. And so me and Noodles came up with this idea of making a channel called Hijacked. So I made this shirt today. Making Boy Great Again 2020. That's the back. And... Hijacked by Street Life and Noodles 180. Huh? That's a little rose gold foil. Huh? Not bad, huh? And the girl that I we were at her chat and they were talking, she left it open for us. I made her an official Lulu lemon liquor, which I'm gonna give to her. I like that. And of course, you guys have seen my Alcatraz shirt and cell block D. And you guys have probably seen my boy make. Voight great again, Voight 2020, and I did this today, Hijack 2020, and I did this for the girls today. It was a high, it's a Hijacked 2020. Tankini, I'm not really sure. I think it's a Tankini. I don't can't remember. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. You saw me at the gas station this weekend. I don't think so. I don't think I was at a gas station this weekend. Oh, thanks, Susan. I'm trying. I'm getting better. I messed up on the black one a little bit. I didn't realize there was a little bit of foil on the edge of it. And I heat pressed it. But I got the new cameo and I've been working at it. Who's Sue? Oh, Susan, she's great, Preston. She's probably one of the best mods in here. Oh, you shared it to Noodles Page? Thanks. I told him about it tonight over at Abby's. But he's got so many accounts, I can't figure out which one is his main one. Uh, my mods won't. It wasn't me. It was me won't get you nothing they just here to defend themselves i mean if you want to say real bad things about them they will but you can say anything you want about me i mean my mods are on very it is free speech oh it says noodles 181 i look i tried looking it up but there's so many of them but I did know that it was Noodles 180. So that, that does say Noodles 180 in the rose gold. So I'm glad I got that right. But yeah, it, it's free speech. You can say whatever you want. I mean, yeah, 1980. Yeah, got, that's what it says. Yeah, 1980. Okay, I was gonna say it didn't say 1880, did it? I'm like, oh crap, did I get, mess it up? <clears throat> I 
I didn't want to mess it up for him. I thought it would look great. Yeah. Oh, that's hijacked. Oh, no. Yeah, hijacked by Street Life and Noodles 180. Did I do that right, Carrie? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, you back rats. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I like that, too. I, I want to do some more of them. I'm, like, having a lot of fun, you know, trying to make shirts and stuff on here. Oh, yeah, not 180. Yeah, it's 1980. Yeah, I did. Did I just do 180? Oh, I did. Oh, I messed that one. Well, I'm glad I did. Then I can buy some more and redo it. Thank you for noticing that. I don't know who you are. Miss Pittsburgh thing. And thank you for calling me sexy. I like being called sexy. But... What is a J? What is a J Coppers? Is that like a J Cup bra? I'm not, I mean, I'm not trying to be funny. I just, I'm not really sure. Uh, well, uh, that gives me, uh, I'll buy some more rose gold and do it up. Bra size? Okay, I thought so. I was like, damn. I'm still on training bras myself. But hey, doctor says this whole. I'm just saying. J Coppers? I just never heard him call that. I've heard him like, you know, 38 Triple D or whatever. And I've just never heard of, you know. I think most men are, to be honest. Large fun bad girls. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, you know, I don't know if I'd want my wife in pain if she had, you know, I mean, I, I think I'd like them. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't want my back hurting, dude. When I used to roof and carry shingles up on the roof, my back hurt. If it was because of boobs or something, I'd be like, "Yeah, all right, let's get the reduction down." Just saying, back pain stinks. Yeah, I don't even know how big that is. No clue. I think the, only, the biggest I've been was a D, so <laughs> I can't really say much on that. So, I mean, definitely some more, a lot more letters. So, those are watermelons. Yeah, that sounds it. I mean, but I would definitely, yeah, probably want to get a reduction if I was you. Oh, you used to be a dancer? Yeah, way bigger than a D. Yeah, I kind of figured that one there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to do the letters, and I'm like, well, I know it goes to D, double D, triple D, and then I don't know where it goes. So, <laughs> so I have no clue. J equals jumbo. Yeah, they do. So I mean... A lot of guys like them. I mean, I think, you know, but I definitely think if it was bothering my wife, I would be like, yeah, okay, get a reduction. <coughs> the size of your head, probably. This is kind of funny. My son, my oldest son, my nana, she was really big. And... I don't even know what size, but 
my son used to like running across the room and she used to let him and he'd run into her boobs and it was kind of funny. I don't know. It was like, but he like, just like crashing into her. I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. I don't think I could too. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do with it. I, yeah. And she used to let him do it. My Nana was funny, though. I called her like Mary Poppins. And it's a true story. I'd be like, hey, Nana, where's the phone? You know, she's like, here you go. Next thing you know, she's pulling out a bag of chips. You know, the, the, the uh, word find book. You know, glasses. I'm like, what the hell you got in there? You know, the phone, you know. I mean, everything came out of there. I am like amazed. I'm glad my wife doesn't do that. I don't know. I just never thought it was very sexy seeing somebody. <laughs> wow. Call some boobies. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I bet you the guy, he would have gone. Yeah, I mean, he would have passed out. I bet he would have died happy. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> no bobbies. Oh. <laughs> Dobbies? No. Bobbies. Yeah, bobbies. <laughs> like I just learned that you have to go get sized and everything else and measured and everything else I didn't know I just thought girls kind of just kind of knew what size they were I thought that was kind of funny well thank you but yeah no my wife would probably kill me and then maybe we go to work. <laughs> it was me. I bet they was the best motorboat he ever had. <laughs> yeah, like I said, he would have been, died probably happy. But yeah, I mean, I don't know how women that when they get that big on that area, I don't know how they how they, your backs can, can handle it. I don't think I'd want something like that. I mean, hey, I ain't saying I want to flatten the field, but, you know, I want, I want, I want my, I'd want my significant other to live comfortably. It was sick as <laughs> slobbering. <laughs> It was probably the best time of his life. I mean. <laughs> I remember going to the strip club one time. And was he missing teeth? <laughs> and, you know, you know, you see pretty girls every once in a while. But, I mean, at the strip club, and I can honestly say this. I mean, I wasn't really entertained by the girls getting undressed, but the girls coming in the door that were coming into work, each one of them, they seemed like they got better looking every time. And I was like, wow, that's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. And then the next one would come, you're like, nope, I was wrong. That one might be the best looking woman. So, yeah, strip clubs are definitely like I could. <laughs> I 
No, no. And I was drinking, but I mean, it was like the girl, the stage was behind me and I was watching the door that comes in and I, I just couldn't, you know, it was like watching like a, um, uh, um, like a pageant or something as they were coming in to get ready for work or whatever. I was like, nope, that's a better, your pretty girl. Nope, that one is. Nope. <laughs> I was amazed at how many pretty girls actually worked there. The Melinda Zach, I've seen you around, and I, I seen that Abby banned you or timed you out. I can't remember which one today, but I, I don't think you're Carrie, right? Or, yeah, I didn't think so. But she got pegged as you, though. I thought so, Terry. I know I've seen her around, and I'm like, You should do bachelor bodies too. That must have been an exciting life. I mean, being able to go anywhere you want, you know, pretty much buying all the expensive clothes. Because I knew a, a stripper and she was just a friend. And she made like $2,000 a night. Yes, she was. Now, what happened to your uh, Splinter Cell account? Because I see your message got deleted on my page or something. Yeah, no, I, I don't know why she blocked Melinda, but I, I thought I'd seen her around. I don't want to talk bad about her, but I just seen that, you know, she blocked her or whatever or timed her out. I ain't sure which one. And I was like, I I didn't say anything in chat because I was like, I swear I've seen her before, but I don't, I can't really remember where, but now that Terry says it was Berg's, that would make sense because I go over there all the time too. No, I'm sure you did. <laughs> so how much money did you make? It was me a night, like 2,000, 3,000, 1,000. I don't, I don't know. This girl, she was at the top of her field, and she was Miss Best, the best chest in Arizona or something like that when she was doing it. She won that award or something. I don't know if they do it every year or something. I don't know. I thought so. I thought I've seen you around. I think I've seen you even at Town & Country's. But I, I, I was like, I think I've seen her just at more than one chat. I thought so. Okay, now did you get to... Now, like, she did, like, rotations. Like, she'd do, like, maybe a month at this strip club, and then she'd, she'd go across the country and do a month over there. But she, but I'm not who she thinks I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, like I was telling you, Terry, this is... I'm trying to figure it out. It was before 98. It was probably around 97, 96. Because none of my kids were born. And it was just before I met her, the mother of my kids. So, And this girl was saying she was making two grand a night. Ah. No, oh, did you? Yeah, I mean, I know that you guys all got a big war going on. I don't really know too much about it, and I think I'm probably better off not knowing.
Oh, I won't. I, I don't want to badmouth her, and I wouldn't want to badmouth you anyway. I like talking to Abby. I think she got a very calm, soothing voice when she talks calm. So I, I really like going there. And I like chit-chatting with you. So I'd like to stay like Switzerland, right down the middle. But No, it's fine. I mean, you can say whatever you want in here. You get to get, you know, that's the freedom of speech. I just don't have to agree, you know, and that's what I like to keep in my chat. I mean, yes, and people might screenshot and call me out on it, but I'm only going to say, I ain't going to say nothing negative about anybody. I'll be like, or I'll, I might comment like, oh, yeah, I don't think I would do something like that or something, you know, to them, but I wouldn't say it to them. I need to go feed my boyfriend. Take care. Yeah, I agree. That's what I do like about our channel. I like your channel a lot. And hi, honey. Now, that's my wife. <laughs> Yes, I, 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 I've noticed that she kind of gets, well, I think she has a lot of sock accounts, I guess is what she calls them. And they troll her and she, I think she thinks she knows who they are. Like, I think a lot of people were thinking that Carrie was coming in tonight, but I think it was Noodles. Because it was kind of his sense of humor. Maybe I'm wrong and Carrie's here, so she can definitely answer that one. But I thought it was noodles or i took it as noodles and that's why i said hi noodles <laughs> yeah, i thought so because he was like i got houses and I, or, no she was saying that i love new i love i love noodles because he's got houses and stuff and everything else and i'm like carrie i i, I was talking to her last night with noodles and she wasn't saying these kinds of things she, they were talking about lawyers and stuff. That wasn't their kind of conversation. I said, but that does sound like what something noodles would say. Yes, I thought so. So, honey, how's work going tonight? But, yeah, I mean, I was like, I mean, Carrie jokes a little bit but not like noodles and noodles would say something like that because he's arrogant same as usual working hard yeah i know what are you doing three jobs tonight that's how it stinks but You know, <laughs> yeah. didn't he come in with like one with like slender man something? She did make you an apology video though, because actually you really didn't do anything last night. It was just me and Noodles going off and having. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a slender gay man or something. It was it was pretty funny though. Yeah, you get to express your feelings. I mean, I mean, I don't have to agree with it. I mean, but that's what this this Alcatraz has always been about. Is you know that you know things get you going. I just don't want to be saying bad things. And I mean, I can, I, you know, when I'll try to take, you know, like if I had somebody talking about me or doing things like that, I definitely think I would have issues. But I think it's definitely a place to try to help and make people kind of feel better or have freedom to say what they want and just joke around and have a good time. Yeah, I, 
I've heard that, Melinda. You know, but I think she's got a lot on her plate. Yeah, I mean, that's your biz, you know, <laughs> who you're with or who you're talking to, for, you, you know, and I want you to know that, you know, I'll never be like, oh, my God, she was talking with noodles. Oh, and I heard she was talking to Anderson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're never going to hear that. I don't care who you're chit-chatting with, flirting with. That is none of my business. Because <laughs> my wifey, you know. And a wife and everything else. So. I, I think she's going through a lot and everything else. I don't know if I, how, how sane I'd be even if I was going through what she was. I mean, I went through cancer. I mean, I had cancer, as you can see right there, um, and everything. And that was pretty traumatic. But diabetes, I mean, or not diabetes, I'm going through um Whatever she's going through, I can't think of what it's called right now. Diabetic or getting the things. I mean, that's got to be very. And I think she has things, but I mean, uh, yeah, I definitely think she has probably stressful days because she's got so much she has to do. Diet, not diabetic. Hmm. Right there. Dialysis. I don't know. I've never known anybody, but I would think it's very traumatic. Kidney failure. Yeah. I would think it very, I don't know. Because I know that usually if the kidney goes, and I'm not saying about her because I don't know anything about her case. I'm just saying from what I know. And I've heard, you know, then usually that means your kidney's going. And you usually need to get a replacement. And you get put on this donor list. And it takes forever from what I, I knew of one guy that went through it. And so, because I'm not going to pretend like I even know anything about her case. Because I don't. But, I mean, I hear they get put on these lists and everything else. Yeah, I mean, that's you guys' biz. I mean, I just find her very entertaining and everything else. I try not to really take a side i just kind of like to go in and enjoy and have a great time in a chat and as you can tell and abby will tell you i have a lot of humor and it goes along wrong way sometimes like noodle <laughs> so like i've known terry here for a while i mean i don't, i know she's married and you know I can't even remember what state she lives in. I saw, I mean, I think it's Florida, but I mean, that's about as much as I know about her. I mean, except for when we are in a chat, we have a great time chit-chatting, you know? Gary, I don't really know where you live. I know we have a great time chit-chatting, you know? And that's just me. I don't want to get up in your business behind the scenes. I mean, I may tell Terry in a joke, you know, hey, I'm going to bring my RV down and park it in your front lawn. And she'll tell me, oh, yeah, I got a gate. You ain't getting in. <laughs> But, you know, that's as far as it goes. Right? I don't get into, you know. Carrie wants to flirt with noodles. She wants to flirt with Anderson. She wants to flirt with Melton, Bergs. I don't care. It's none of my biz. No. I know you're not. not you, and you're just releasing it. I'm just giving you how I deal with boy. Yep, gated community. <laughs> right. Like, I, I mean, I know Susan's from Texas. I know she likes to watch, she likes to look at birds, and she likes going on cruises. That's about all I really need to know. I think she has grandkids, because I, oh, yeah, and, she, and her husband died, and she went through a hard time. But other than that, I don't really need to know everything about Susan. No, I, I, I wasn't saying. I'm just saying if you want to, you could. It's none of my business. I don't care if you flirt with Anderson. I don't care if you flirt with anything. I'm just saying it's none of my business. If somebody says, oh, my God, you hear what Carrie did? I'd be like, it's none of my business. 
Now, if you told me my wife was flirting with somebody, yeah, then I might be like, okay, you know, that's my business, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't bring in anybody's kids. I don't think if they're on YouTube, they need to be into the subject. And I think that's where we a lot of people cross lines. I'm not saying anything about what that whole situation. I'm just saying how I feel about that. It's like Terry's husband. He has nothing to do with boy because as far as I know, he don't come on. So I would not say anything about him because he has nothing to do with it. You just worry about taking care of your kid, Carrie. But you can't do nothing if there ain't no nothing there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is way over the line. I mean, but you just worry about, you know, there's always going to be people. And I'm not saying that about her. I'm saying that there's always going to be people out there that do that stuff. You can't stop it. There's no reason to worry about it. Just take care of what you got to take care of. Take care of your house, whatever. So if they do come, you'd be like, come on in. <laughs> That's just the way you live it. Can't live in fear like somebody's going to do that to you. Yeah, I bet. Sometimes, you know, anger issues. I used to have road rage. So I used to work over this bridge. And it, every day at 3.30, it'd take two hours to cross the damn thing. And um, and when you do that stuff, you know, I was getting angry. I wanted to push everybody into the ocean. <laughs> so I decided I can't work on that side of the bridge. Yeah. I mean, if you ain't got nothing to be afraid of, then you don't got nothing to be afraid of with them. So, I mean, and I, I, I've had them called on me and they walked in and they said, nothing here. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> so. It is really shitty, but. You know what? I, I've learned that a lot of people out there, they're fake. They'll tell you one thing and do another. I don't know how many times I've had this happen in my life. Like my old, my youngest daughter, her mother, she'll look at you and every word coming out of her mouth will be a lie, but she'll swear by it. And then you'll find out two weeks, three weeks down the road that everything she said was a lie. You're not irritating. I think it's a good discussion. I think it's actually, it helps everybody by getting out the thing. I mean. I mean, I think everybody has a right to their opinion. Will you and Abby ever see eye to eye? Probably not. Maybe there's been lines crossed. I don't know. I don't really know nothing about your story, and I, I won't ever try to get into you guys' thing. I mean, that's you two's beef. Just like if Terry was beefing somebody, I'd probably be like, well, you know, Terry's cool, but I wouldn't get into her stuff. None of my biz. Or Susan. Somebody started with Susan, and I'd be like, like, you know, I seen Susan get mad one night. I've never seen it. And I got. I, I think I got a lot of funny faces. I'm like, oh my god, I've never seen Susan mad. <laughs> oh, you've never seen Abby? Abby's a good. I like Abby. She got a real nice voice. Yeah, I've only seen it once. So like I said, it was. Thinking, you just. 
I said, I've never seen SZA in the chat, and everybody's like, oh my god, I don't think I have either. <laughs> If you know Susan, she's always in a good mood and happy. And somebody just came in and she just didn't. Yeah, I don't know. They must have been ticking her or something by their comments or something. <laughs> she just went off. <laughs> she did apologize, though. It was funny, though. Like, I mean, I was just like, Susan got angry? <laughs> You know, I think we can all be a little nuts. I mean, damn, I can be nuts. I remember I do too. I, that was great. I, 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 yeah, did you just make up with him or something there, Terry? Because I remember I was going over to Berg's because you were over there. So then he modded me up. But I have noticed you weren't there for a while. And I'm like, wow, Terry didn't come in. Terry didn't come in. <laughs> yeah, everybody has the right to their opinion. <laughs> and uh, I mean, honestly. And that's why we all live on this crazy planet. <laughs> I like Bergs, yeah. I think he's funny. Yeah, he apologized. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that you guys worked it out. You see, I mean, I don't know much about Bergs. I just know he plays music. I think he can throw a good thing. I do too, Susan. I don't know why. I kind of like him. Sometimes I just have to remember when he's in kind of that mood, you just kind of leave and just, you know, wait for him to go back. You know, so I think he kind of has those days where he's kind of like, he's in a bad mood or something or somebody got him going or something. And he's in a Riley mood and he's looking for a fight, I guess is the way I, 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 I've noticed it with him. Oh yeah. He, so I just leave him. I'm like, Oh, he's anything. You know, and I've heard a lot of people say that, Terry. But see, I don't really communicate. I don't. Not that I don't like talking to you guys. I just. I want to do it here. I don't want to do it on the phone and on all social medias. And I'm just. It's not that I'm a private guy. I just, you know, it's, I'd rather do it here in the open. And I don't really like talking on the phone. I really hate phones. So, I mean, somebody wants to send me an email or something, you know, they, hey, fine, you know what I mean? But uh, I kind of learned my lesson with town and country. Sometimes he can get really, in you know, a long conversations like that. And I don't like talking on the phone. I've had over two hour conversations with him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, me too, Susan. I'm just not a phone person. That was my mistake, giving them my phone number. I'm like, oh, my God. Luckily, I lost my phone. I had to get a new one and a new number because I couldn't find my phone. I do like them. I like everybody on here. I, you know, and I go chat and everything else, but I don't, I'm not big on phones and texting and Like my wife will tell you, I mean, when I used to run my roofing company, whenever it was a break time or whatever, we stopped for lunch or whatever, I checked my phone. It stayed in the truck. If I was out, went to the store, playing at the park with the kids or something, until I came back to the truck, I didn't check my messages. She used to get so mad about that. I do carry my phone better now, though. Yeah, I mean... I just, you know, some people just like to talk and talk on a phone, and I'm just not. Yes, you did hate that. <laughs> but, you know, and I'm doing better with that, carrying my phone, but I'm not, you can ask my wife, I'm not a person that, you know, like, 
town and country called me and she was like even amazed and i talked to him for two hours because i just don't like talking on the phone i'd rather do this than talk on the phone to me i don't know why a phone puts me to sleep Yeah, a lot of people have a lot of different accounts. And I mean, I have quite a few accounts, but I only mainly use this one. I have a lot of things, and my wife can vouch for this. I have a lot of them, but it's usually so I can go over and watch Elbow because he bans me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm about the same way, Terry. I mean, and then it's usually like, all right, let's get to the point. And phones never excited me. True. Yeah, he's got like six of mine. I only got one left. <laughs> So I have to be really good. <laughs> yeah, I don't like talking on the phone. No. I, I prefer texting if the best way. I agree with that too, Susan. It's about the boringest, boringest streams I've ever seen. I can't stand it. There's nothing good going on except for, well. Okay, honey, I love you. I agree, Susan. He's not. I've been. I don't even barely watch him. I'll go in for a minute or something, see how the van's doing. Well, that ain't very nice. I don't think anybody should say anything about anybody's voice. But I do, you know, and this is nothing about your voice, but we have this girl at the store. She has a very squeaky voice, and it hurts my ears, and I don't like her voice. But So, I love you too, Adventure Baby. But, yeah, so I guess voices can hurt people's ears because I just have to just leave as quick as I get there because... Yeah, that, I don't know, her voice kind of just goes right through my head. I don't know if you've ever had a voice like that. <laughs> yeah, see, Melinda, you don't understand what I'm saying, because, I mean... She talks very babyish and squeaky. And it's like, whoa. I don't know, you know, and I mean, and I mean, I wouldn't hold it against somebody if I really cared for them. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings either. True. He shouldn't have tried talking to you into liking him. But that's the only voice. I've only ran into it one time. It's just her pitch of her voice. Really. Yeah, see, some people give it, yeah, it's just, some people just hit that certain pitch that isn't right for everybody, and it drives them nuts. It's like, oh my God, just be quiet. <laughs> but I've only ran into it once, like I said, and we got a girl down at the store that works there. I think she might have left, she might, might be gone.
Well, you know, I mean, if he doesn't like your voice, he didn't really like you, you know? So I wouldn't worry about it. So, I mean, and that's one thing, you know, when you meet somebody, they're going to like you, not a fake you or something or pretend. You want them to like you for who you are. Like me and my wife, weren't you, baby? We didn't. We met at Dunkin' Donuts, and she really liked me. And I, it took me about two, three months before I even dated her because I wanted to get to know her because I'd always used the wrong head. I'll be, I'll admit it. That was a roofer. So we didn't, we didn't date for like two, three months. Very slow process. And I took my, my time and I, cause I want to know, cause all my other girlfriends, I couldn't talk to them about anything. And, and was, we didn't have anything in common. So like me and my wife now, we talk about so many things because we have a lot in common. And that makes the difference. You take your time, meet somebody, talk to them. You know, don't try to rush nothing. Well, you shouldn't let them do that. That was a mistake. You, I mean, here is entertainment. Yes, you can have friends. And I, I call a lot of people on here friends. And... But you can't let them control your real life. I call them the BAM crew. You got Bergs, Anderson, and Melton. The BAM crew. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean... What you're doing outside, unless you like somebody, maybe you could, you know, maybe chat somewhere on FaceTime or something. But um, you know, keep what you got going on in the real life. Don't get I mean, this is fun. We get on every night, we chat, we get to have fun, talk about our lives and everything. But you know, what you're living at your home every day is your real life and you need to keep them separate. I hate the whole ice cream thing, Terry. You ever seen him eating an ice cream cone? Oh my God. And he thinks he's so sexy. I'm like, oh my God, I want to puke. <laughs> oh, I can only listen to him about five minutes. If I do go over there, because the channel that I wanted to show that I made shirts for tonight, um, talks about him a lot, so I've kind of been curious. So, I, I've gone, I went over there, I didn't even know who he was, but then, well, and then I can't just say her. Melton talks about her, too, and I go over to Melton's, even though Melton thinks I'm a troll, too, which is kind of funny. Everybody thinks I'm a troll. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if he's trying to show the ladies that what he can do with his tongue or something. I don't know. I just don't get it. And looks like he's trying to make love to an ice cream cone. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know a lot of these people. I mean, I know a little bit about Susan. I know a little bit about Terry. But, you know, we don't, we're not up in all each other's business or nothing. No, I'm not a mod for Milton. I'm a mod for Bergs. And I don't even know why I went. I was just over there chit-chatting with Terry, and I think he liked me or something. I don't know, really. Oh, no, I gave him five bucks. So he gave me a wrench. But I'm not a good mod. Just for everybody's. I don't really like banning anybody. Like, I don't like banning anybody here. So...
No, I haven't seen that. Um, thank God. I No, Melton thinks I'm a troll. He wants to ban me. He Sometimes he bans me. Sometimes he don't. Yeah, I'm just not a good mod. Melinda. I just don't. I, I think everybody has a freedom of speech. And I actually think trolls are funny when they come in and say stuff. You know, like Little Red Riding Hood. She came in. She was trying to be a thing. But, you know, I think it's funny. Yeah, some people are a very good mod. Terry's a great mod. Susan's a great mod. Me too, Melinda. I just, you know, I'm usually going on with chat and I'm trying to get somebody going or anything. I like picking on somebody, just getting them right at them, you know, and see what they respond. You know, like I'll get Terry going every once and she'll be like, Liar Street. <laughs> I've never seen anybody like salt. I don't think I want to see that either. Somebody put me in that predicament. Oh, town and country did. He wanted me to ban Big Dog, and I didn't want to do it. So that was hard. That's why I don't like being a mod. I just like going around to the channels. It is. He's got a lot. He's picked up a lot of trolls. Do you guys know about Tasha? Huh? This is going to be great. I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> Let's see if anybody knows about Tasha. Yes, he does. Oh, he doesn't know? I told him, but he didn't believe me. And I just talked to him recently, so I know he doesn't believe me. No, he doesn't. I don't believe he does, Susan. He's told me. Yes, he does know, Terry. I told him. And... He, be he believes she's a girl. I'm like, oh, no, that's not a girl. Her name's Mark. I remember everybody was in there. Is it Tasha or Trish or what? And I'm like, no, Mark. <laughs> I don't I don't think he does. Did you notice the Adam's apple? I'm like, but she came out on Rosie's panel. I don't know which one it was and came out. And, and I thought she was a girl, too, because I talked to Tasha for a long time. And then one night she came out. And then Rosie was making fun. I was like, oh, my God, I thought she was a girl. And Rosie was like, are you that dumb? You didn't realize that she was a man? And I'm like, guess so. So I didn't want that to happen to town and country. And then he don't believe me. She is cool. I like, well, she's very anti-government. And she was in here one night. And she's the only person I've ever been. She was talking about getting meth delivered to her van. I don't know if she was joking or what, but she was really going off the wall in here. I don't know if any one of you guys are in here when that happened, but it was, that was the only time I ever banned anybody. I'm kind of wondering if you'll make a play for her. <laughs> he doesn't. But if you go back into Rosie's streams, when she first started coming around, she went on one of her panels, and she came out that she's a transgender. Because I even I thought she was a girl, because I talked to her for about six, eight months. And I, I think I'm friends with her on Facebook. I am friends with her on Facebook. And I found out, and she, because the pictures all look like a girl. I mean, I'm not a girl expert, but... I mean, I found out the hard way through Rosie, but then I tried to tell town and country, and then I 
I do not think he does, honestly. Uh, well, he does know, but he doesn't believe me. Is that the better way of saying it? Because he's like, no, no, I've talked to her. She's a girl. She's told me. I'm like, because like when he was, she was getting in the van, he's like, ooh, I get the, I get a booty view. So I do not think he believes me. I mean, I have honestly told him. So I feel like I did my part. I am glad that, you know, I'm married. Um, because this whole new world is not what I'm used to. I'm glad that, you know, I've gotten married and settled down <laughs> because I don't know about this world. I don't know what I'd do if I brought home a, a girl and found out it was a guy. I don't know what I'd do. Because, I, I mean, it's not that I have... I, I could be friends with one. I got no problem with that. I just don't want to date one. I'm not attracted. You know what I mean? I, the attraction. There's nothing against them. I could... I've got a gay friend. I mean, I don't care. Don't go after me. I don't care. Actually, we have a great time. We have a great sense of humor. So I just. Yeah, she seems cool. She's a cool person. I just I wanted to let him know because you know how he talks about to women. He really wants to get with one. And I'm like, ooh, what's he going to do if he finds out she's a guy? And I'm like, oh, I better tell him. Because. Oh, we're talking about somebody's with a with a girl. Well, he thinks it's a girl, but it's a guy. So, and he knows, but he doesn't believe me because I told him. So, I, but I do like her. I just don't know if he's going to hit on her or not. Because I mean, I was watching the videos, and he was seeming like he was. What's up, Ray Ray? Haven't seen you in a long time. Hey, who won? Chiefs the 49ers. But yeah, I mean, that is going to be funny if he does hit on her. And it's going to be great. That's close, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who won either. I've been on here. I want to show everybody's shirt. Nice. Get to see any of the showgirls? Oh, yeah, I don't know how he's going to deal with it because he says he isn't that way, so. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Or if he's just trying to play the gentleman. Because I, I, I think if he actually believed that she was a man, he wouldn't be calling her saying she had a nice booty in the back of her van when he was like, San Francisco's winning 20 to 17. 3.30 to play. Wow, that's a closer game. I thought I thought Chiefs were going to spank them. I don't want the 49ers to win because then they'll be 6-6 six and six with my uh, my Patriots. <laughs> that's the only reason why I don't want the 49ers to win, but KC is threatening to score. Well, that's good. Or at least tie the game. Put it in overtime or something. Because so are you gonna go up into California now? Touchdown, KC. So that makes it what twenty four? Yeah, twenty four to twenty. So they need a touchdown to win.
So a field goal can't do it. As long as they I don't think KC's known for their defense, so they got what probably gonna have two and a half minutes. Oh yeah, boondocking in a in a parking lot in Phoenix right now. Did you go to the ITR? I'd like to see KC win too, because it's only their first one. If 49ers win, it'll make them six, and they'll have the same as the Steelers and the Patriots. And I want to see Tom Brady get a seven, so. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen KC win. I mean, the closest I ever think, think they did was when they had Montana there for a little bit. Yeah, you went to Paramount for a few weeks? I haven't seen you on at all. I was like, man, I haven't seen Ray Ray no way, because I was thinking Ray Ray always have a good time in the chat, too. <laughs> We're in a room. <laughs> Pat Paramount for a couple weeks? Is that another, like, RV meetup thing? I know they're the band build or something. Now, the burning tree, and that's about, like, sex and drugs, right? And how much people meeting up in the desert. I ain't positive. I, I'm not. I could be quoting that wrong. Oh, it must be my mic. It must be going. All right, I better shut it down. No, oh, that's nice. I'll see you at an RV. I'm going to shut it down. My microphone must be going crazy. That's what the beeping noise is. My mic, I don't know why. Every once in a while, it heats up. And then it, I don't know. I must have bought a cheap mic. So Sometimes I have to use my headphones. You're eating ice cream and listening? Thinking of Anderson? Just kidding, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he is about the same size as mine, Ray Ray. I got a 21 footer, I think it is. It's a 1991 Toyota Warrior. No, there ain't nothing here. It's It's the mic. Maybe I can. Let me see. 